I'm Brian Pickowitz with LEA Professional, and I'm going to walk you through the LEA Connect Series Touch configuration. So, a uh, couple things to note uh, at the beginning of this is uh, the Connect Series Touch works uh, in conjunction with the LEA Connect Series amplifiers, and you must have at least one Connect Series amplifier uh, to operate your Connect Series Touch. So. First things first is you find one of your amplifiers that's on the same network as the CS Touch, and you'll type the IP address of that amplifier into your browser. So once you've typed it into your browser and the amplifier shows up, you will see that the Connect Series Touch will also show up. So before I get into the CS Touch configuration, I just want to give you a couple uh, little notes that'll help you through your configuration. So you want to make sure that you name the amplifier and also name the amplifier channels. This will help with the configuration of the CS Touch uh, down the road. So just as a reminder how you name the amplifier, if you click on the information icon, go to Amp Settings, you can name the amplifier there. And how to name the amplifier channel uh, is if you click on the little gear icon, and then right at the top channel name, you can name the amplifier channel there. So make sure you do that and that'll help with your CS Touch configuration. So to configure a CS Touch, uh, in the web UI, you click on the Connect Series Touch, which shows up at the top of the screen. And then before I start setting up my groups, uh, let's just say I wanted to rename this Connect Series Touch. You click on these three little dots and then you can click rename and type in whatever name you want for it. Uh, but also to note in that same uh, menu, you can export settings. So let's say you've already done a configuration and you want to import that into another CS Touch. You can click export and then say you have a file. Um, you can import settings that way. So let's get started with configuration. So what I'm going to show you today is just a, a, a restaurant type application, a couple amps, multiple, multiple zones. So let's say I want to create a volume group for that restaurant. You click on this plus sign and we'll start with a volume group. So I'll add a volume group. So first thing you want to do is name your volume group. And just bear in mind that whatever you name this, that is what the panel on the touch screen will be named. So make sure you name it something that your customer or the end user uh, can easily understand. <clears throat> so what I'll call this one is master volume because I am going to uh, have one volume control for the entire restaurant. So I've named it master volume and I want all zones and all channels uh, to be able to be turned up and down with this master volume. So I've selected all both amplifiers, all channels. Then I click done. You'll see my master volume group uh, shows up here. So when you click on master volume, you'll notice you have a few additional settings you can set. So the first one is range. So what range is, is the actual range of the volume control on the Connect Series Touch. So by default, it's 80 dB. So the Seat Connect Series Touch can control from full volume all the way down uh, 80, dB, 80 dB lower. Uh, so a pretty wide range of volume control. Let's say you only want to give the end user the ability to adjust 20 dB, so full volume and down 20 dB. You would move this over to 20 dB. And then now uh, the volume control itself, whenever they adjust it, they only have 20 dB of range. So full volume to minus 20 dB. Below the range value, you see these offsets. So what the offset is, is uh, you can pick one or multiple zones that have a lower volume than the rest. And whenever you adjust the master volume on the Connect Series Touch, the offsets will remain and they will always be that much lower than the master volume. So let's say I want the lounge area to be 6 dB lower than the rest 
of the restaurant. So I can make my adjustment to 6 dB. And then now, whenever I adjust the master volume on the Connect Series Touch, the lounge area will always be 6 dB less than everything else. So let's say I've, I've, I'm good with all those settings. Whenever I click Save up in this top right corner, that will send everything to the CS Touch. So if you look over your Connect Series Touch right now, you'll notice you'll have a master volume control called Master Volume and you can now start making those adjustments for that volume group. So the next thing you can do uh, is a volume subgroup. So if you click on the three dots next to master volume and click add volume subgroup, first thing you're going to do is name this subgroup. So what a subgroup is, is very similar to what I just described with lounge area, but it gives that decision to the end user. So the end user can decide what volume the lounge uh, is versus the rest of the group. So what I'll do is I'll create a lounge area volume subgroup. I'll select my lounge area channel or zone. And then now, you'll see that this lounge area is a subgroup. So whenever I click save over here to the top right, now I'll have a master volume group and then I'll also have a lounge area. So you can adjust the lounge area independently on the Connect Series Touch, but whatever adjustment that you make on the lounge area, the master volume will track to that. So if the lounge area is 10% less, and I adjust the master volume, the lounge area will always remain 10% less than the master volume. So that's volume groups and volume subgroups. Next, I'm going to show you how to create a source group. So next to groups, you click the plus icon and add source group. First thing you want to do is name this. So I want a source selection for the entire restaurant. So I'm going to call this a restaurant source. And then once you click on restaurant source, we have what's called states. So states are basically your input sources themselves. So let's say in this application, I have a TV as a source, and let's say I have a background music system as a source. So I add my states, and then now they populate in here. So let's configure our TV first. So you click on TV. Over here, you'll want to click Add or Remove AMP. And then this will say, OK, for your TV source, which channels, so it's the entire restaurant, so I'm going to select all my zones and channels. And then once I've done that, now you can see I have input source selection. So in this instance, my TV is being fed to analog one of both amplifiers, so I'm going to leave it as analog one. So the next, I'm going to configure my background music source. So click on your background music source, add or remove, I want this to change uh, for all zones across the entire restaurant. So I'm going to select all channels on both amplifiers. But this background music system I have plugged into analog two of both amplifiers. So what I'm going to do is come in here and configure for analog two for all channels and all zones. And then once I've configured analog two, it's as simple as clicking save up here in the top right. So now, once I've clicked saved, I have my restaurant source group added to my panels on the Connect Series touch display itself. And whenever I select background music, both amplifiers, all channels are going to change to analog two. When I select the TV source, both amplifiers, all channels are going to select and change to analog one. So there's my quick and easy setup guide, uh, you know, Here's a quick little restaurant application with a master volume control, a separate subgroup to be able to control the lounge area independent of the rest of the restaurant, and a quick little source select to be able to switch between two sources. So 
Hope you enjoyed the uh, training video and uh, we appreciate your business and thank you for working with LEA Professional.